VOM that is too low for the signal being measured. In the case of an analog VOM, this would cause the pointer to deflect beyond its normal limits, possibly damaging the movement. In the case of the oscilloscope, although you won't damage the instrument by allowing the trace to deflect off the screen, you can't read it either, so it doesn't make sense. Setting the vertical attenuator control to the lowest setting possible without allowing the beam to deflect off the screen will provide you with the best measurement accuracy. Selecting too high of a vertical attenuator setting compromises resolution. Try to avoid this whenever possible. It's easy to use the vertical attenuator setting and the oscilloscope screen to determine the signal's amplitude or voltage. In this example, the vertical deflection of the beam is three divisions from the ground reference point of the trace. Note that the vertical attenuator control is set to 0.5 volts per division, or one half volt per division. Since each major division is worth one half volt, or 0.5 volts, and the beam deflects three divisions, the total signal deflection is 1.5 volts. Changing the vertical attenuator control to 1 volt per division further reduces the resolution affecting our measurement accuracy. In this case, the beam is only deflected 1.5 divisions from the ground reference trace. Remember, the new vertical attenuator setting is 1 volt per division. Since each major division is 1 volt on the graticule, the DC voltage is 1 volt per division multiplied by 1.5 divisions of deflection or 1.5 volts of amplitude. You can make similar DC voltage measurements using a 9 volt battery or other DC sources. Note how I'm connecting the test leads to the 9 volt battery. In the inset on the screen you can see the DC voltage measurement as displayed by a digital volt ohm milliamp meter. In this example, the beam is deflected 4.5 divisions vertically from the ground reference point. The vertical attenuator setting is set to 2 volts per division. Since each major division is worth 2 volts, the DC voltage is 2 volts per division multiplied by 4.5 divisions, or 9 volts. In this measurement example, I'm using a scope probe. Most scope probes have a removable locking clamp that exposes a pinpoint tip. You'll find this handy in taking measurements in crowded locations. The tip is very sharp, so be careful when using this probe. Here I'm using the scope to measure the open circuit voltage of an automotive battery. The digital voltmeter confirms the measurement. It looks like a 2 volt per division setting of the vertical attenuator will provide me with the best resolution. I could also use the 5 volt per division setting, but it'll compromise my accuracy. The oscilloscope can also measure negative voltages. Just use care because the case ground of the instrument is tied to the building ground. To measure negative DC voltages, we'll need to move our ground reference trace to the top of the graticule instead of the bottom. The trace deflects 2.5 divisions down from the top reference indicating a negative voltage. The vertical attenuator is set to 5 volts per division. The actual trace deflection is 2.52 divisions. At 5 volts per division, this equates to a minus 12.6 volt reading. It was difficult to actually read 2.52 divisions. Let's switch down instead to 2 volts per division where the beam now becomes deflected 6.3 divisions from the ground reference point. The 2 volt per division setting of the vertical attenuator gives us the best resolution for this signal. 6.3 divisions of deflection at 2 volts per division results in a 12.6 volt reading. Don't forget to carry along the minus sign.
I'm confirming the oscilloscope reading using a digital volt ohm milliamp meter or DVOM. Note the negative voltage enunciator that's lit in the display. This tells us the signal polarity is negative. In the case of dual trace oscilloscopes, channel B is another vertical input to the oscilloscope. It functions identical to that of channel A, except it also allows the operator to invert the signal for special measurements. In the case of single channel measurements, we can use either channel A or channel B to conduct the measurements. Setting the ground reference and taking the measurement works identical to that of channel A. Varying the horizontal sweep rate or time per division control changes the rate at which the beam scans the screen. Slower sweep rates cause the beam to move across the graticule more slowly. This is useful for displaying low frequency signals. Especially when the sweep speed of the beam is so slow, it's important to keep the trace intensity control to the minimum necessary to make your readings. In this section we've learned the scope can be used to make DC measurements. Never exceed the maximum input voltage stated on the front panel BNC connectors. Keep the intensity control at the lowest level possible that allows you to make an accurate measurement. This will prevent damaging the screen. Always select DC coupling when making any DC measurements. Always verify the vertical attenuator variable control is in the calibrate position. Failure to do so will result in measurement errors. Don't strain test probes since they are easily damaged. Use the lowest vertical attenuator setting possible. You don't want to push the trace off the screen. Use care when setting the ground reference because this affects measurement accuracy. Now it's time to take a short section quiz to test your grasp of the material. The purpose of the intensity control is to A. Adjust vertical attenuator gain. B. Set the trigger level. C. Adjust trace brightness. Or D. Adjust screen backlight intensity. If you chose choice C, adjust trace brightness, you're correct. The ground reference is always set to the bottom of the graticule. True or false? The correct answer is B, false. A technician needs to measure a DC voltage around 9 volts. For best measurement resolution, the technician should set the vertical attenuator control to A, 10 volts per division, B, 5 volts per division, C, 2 volts per division, or D, 1 volt per division. If you chose choice C, 2 volts per division, you are correct. For this question, a technician needs to measure a DC voltage around 15 volts. For best measurement resolution, the technician should set the vertical attenuator control to A, 10 volts per division, B, 5 volts per division, C, 2 volts per division, or D, 1 volt per division. If you chose choice C, 2 volts per division, you're right. In this question, technician A says the vertical attenuator variable control can be set in any position without affecting measurement accuracy. Technician B says this control must be placed in the calibrate position when making voltage measurements. Who is correct? Technician A, Technician B, both technicians, neither technician.